Hi, Dale Titus here, and I'm going to show you um, a little exercise I created a while back to get my 16th note uh, fingering down. Um, I was very captivated by um, a myriad of players, but uh, two specifically when it came to like 16th, uh, 16th note really syncopated funk, Rocco Prestia from Tower Power, you know, I'll bow down to Rocco Prestia. That guy is the king, and uh, you know, I would I'd buy any album he's on, and I think I have. Um, and then the other is Jaco Pistorius. Uh, both guys had amazing 16th note accuracy and discipline. So I created a little funny exercise for warm-up called the Rocco Jaco Finger Funko. And it's got a stupid name, I know, but I was probably sick that day. Um, and I'm going to show it to you, but really what I want to do is let you hear how it sounds, and then you can go on to mtdkingston.com, go on to the zone, and look at bass lessons, and there'll be the, the, the notation there for it, where you not only see the standard notation, you'll see my tab for how I like to execute it. But really, what it, it's quite simple. It, it goes from a C dominant to a G dominant chord. And I start by just playing root, octave, minor 7, octave, major 3rd, octave, minor 7, octave. And that's the first part. Every note's played twice. If you want to be really, you know, focus on it, always use the same alternation. So, it's, you know, it's, uh, you know, index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, index, middle. So you're always using the same kind of alternating discipline. Now on the descending line, I play down to get to my G. And I'm just using the A and the D string. And I'm playing basically a series of thirds. You know, uh, minor third, major third, minor third, minor third. Then I'm in the G. And I play a, a similar. It's, it's related in its sound, but it has a little bit uh, a different note selection. I put the perfect fourth in. up and down the neck a little bit and uh, it's it's strictly 16th notes and you're playing you know, for the most part two times on every note until you get to that G7 that little ending turnaround lick. Um, so you know download the chart it's a PDF it should be pretty simple to print out and start very slowly and try to make all the notes the same volume you know try not to have any lilt to them and we get to the G same thing just try to make all the notes the same volume all the same length So there you have the Rocco Jocko Finger Funko, and I apologize again for the name. But it is, a, I think, a good warm-up exercise, a good way to kind of just focus on it. If you've got a drum machine, put on a 16th note, maybe funk or rock pattern, and see if you can kind of play along with the hi-hats um, and uh, see where it takes you. And of course, improvise off of it. Once you get the, 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 the feel of the C7 going to the G7, then maybe, you know, change the chords and make your own progression and see if you can adjust the technique to fit the new chords. So there's the Rocco Jocko Finger Funko. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you put it into your practice routine for a little bit. And let me know how it goes. All right? You can email me at dalet at danabegoods.com. Thanks so much.